What's going on guys? My name is Dave, this is Hudson Moto Visuals. And on this channel we talk about motorcycles and photography. Right now we're here at beautiful Milk Creek Point up here in Sea Caucus. Beautiful scenery right now. And today we're talking about the rad powered bikes red mini four so here it is so this is a foldable fat tire e-bike and I recently sold my super 73 to my brother and I picked this one up just because I wanted to keep this at the apartment and I have a one bedroom apartment and it's tight in there so at least I could fold this up. So today's just a little first ride. I recently got this and I want to tell you how it uh, compares to the Super 73. Now if you want all the specs and tech stuff, this is not it. I just want to show you the bike and how it feels compared to the Super 73 I had. So let's get on the bike. Now, this is not the step through Rad Mini. Uh, the step through is usually comes in all white. This one, I like the all black one. So this is the high step one. I am 5'6", and uh, I'm used to swinging a leg over taller bikes because I ride motorcycles, so yeah. So let's get on. So I adjusted the seat how I liked it. And we're gonna start in pedal assist level one. We are in a higher gear. Also this bike comes with gear, so maybe I will start it off with the motor just to get on paved road. And what I like about this bike, it has comes in gears. So, start pedaling. So if I start pedaling, changing the gears, makes it easier to launch. And it feels good. Pedal Assist 1 is barely giving me any help pedaling but it's okay that's what I'm testing out the Super 73's pedal assist one gave you a little more a little more power so this one has five level assists the Super 73 only has three so right now uh, I'm in pedal assist one I'm in the fourth gear and I'm going about eight miles an hour. Now I'm really pedaling just to keep it moving. I'm on this little dirt path. But I could feel the motor sometimes kick in and help me out. So now we're gonna go to pedal assist two. So this is called eco mode. So now the, the pedal, the pedaling for me has become a little lighter. I don't have to struggle as much right now. 
but I am going to put it in a higher gear to get more speed out of it. So right now I'm in sixth, just cruising along. So this is eco mode. Right now it tells you wattages, like how much wattage is the motor putting out to help you out. So the watts is about, about 150 right now, 140. So I still do have the little bit of uh, pedaling to do to keep maintaining this speed. But that's what I want. Going down. I'm going about 12 miles an hour and I need, I really need to pedal in order to stay at this speed with the pedal assist. Since we're on flat roads, I'm gonna go kick it up to seventh gear. So we're just cruising along here. So we're in eco mode. Now I haven't ridden a actual mountain bike in quite a few years now and probably putting it in a higher gear on a mountain bike, I would be really, really pushing it hard to keep maintaining this speed, but right now it feels okay because we're in eco. So we're gonna get up to standard, so that's power mode three. Now I'm in a higher gear and it's pushing me along pretty fast. And I'm just pedaling casually, not really putting much effort into it, but a good fair amount. Also, just getting on this bike compared to the Super 73, uh, I did put a little gel cushion on the seat because it was really hard when I first got it. And I adjusted the seat how I liked it. And right now, it feels okay. But if you go longer rides, I feel like it's gonna be a problem because it's gonna really hurt. What I like about this bike also is that it has gears. So if I wanted to come to a stop and I'm in a high gear right now, if I come to a stop pedaling, launching, you do have to really push in pedal assist three to get going. So what I really like about it is if I come to a stop, like I will now, and then I push it maybe into two, it's easier to launch. So we're not gonna tackle this hill yet. Still trying out pedal assist three. So when you're in a lower gear, even if you're at pedal assist three right now, as long as you turn your legs, the motor will kick in and, and do most of the work. And now my legs will be flying real 100 miles an hour, but I won't be going that fast. So we're gonna tackle this hill right now on pedal assist three. I'm in second gear. So once we got to the mid of the hill, I had to give a little oomph. I had to start pedaling a little harder, but that's okay. If you want to go faster, you'll be put in a higher gear and you will actually pedal faster and it will help the bike and the motor go. 
Right now we're gonna go hit up Schmidt's Woods through the, so we'll put it in the higher gear here around here. Standard mode. Just be careful at the crossing here. Right now I'm not really putting any input on the uh, on the pedals, just basically just spinning my legs, and the motor is doing most of the work here. So now again, like I said, when you're in any mode, when you do pedal in a higher gear, you do go faster, and the motor's helping you go faster. Like these dirt roads right now, I'm really not want to go fast, so I put it in only in standard mode. So, no matter what pedal assist you're in, this is a live trigger, so. I can just be dead stop and if I want to go, the motor will pull me. So it's more along the lines of just helping you launch, but you can get it to just stay at top speed. But if you just hold the trigger down and not pedal, um, You'll only stop at about 15, 16 miles an hour, so. So I'm gonna do that now. Still in pedal assist three, standard mode it's called. And four and five. So I'm not pedaling, I'm just in pedal assist three and I'm just cruising along here with the trigger. And you know, right now it's keeping me about at 19 miles an hour with the full out trigger. And obviously, if you're on flatter roads, uh, a little less power on the uh, motor and on the battery, but that's okay. I'm just testing out, testing out the trigger here on a somewhat flat road. So again, we're coming to a stop, some sort of a stop and go. So what I could tell right now by just using the trigger, and I use the trigger a lot on the Super 73, this is a more smoother, gradual into, into getting up to top speed. Sometimes I felt like the Super 73 motor gave you all the power at one time, and Get into pedal assist four. Pedal assist four. I'm in the high gear right now. This is called power mode on here, what it's saying. And uh, I'm assuming you use this for more along the lines of like getting up hills. Just put in a lower gear, use power mode, it'll give you a, a lot of a lot of the motor's power to, to push through. And this is like effortless when you're in power mode, level four. I'm basically just going around in circles. I'm back to the place where I started. But right now, Right now I'm not even pedaling that hard and 
on this dirt trail again I'm on. It's really not hard to pedal right now. Now we're gonna go to pedal assist five. So when you use the trigger, like I said, it gives you a smooth, gradual pull until you get up to about 20 miles an hour and then the motor cuts off. But now, now really getting on this bike and really feeling the uh, what these pedal assist can do. Pedal assist 2 is eco, so it doesn't give you all the power. It's just docile, you know, it's kind of docile, it's tame. And as you progress in the power modes, and then I'm at power level five right now. Um, I mean, this is effortless trying to pedal. You know, so. I mean, I'm not even trying really hard. And then you just start pedaling and you feel the motor kick on. Almost comparable to like, the uh, Super 73. So now I'm on flat road, and you know, even in a high gear, it's really effortless to just pedal. So I'm pedaling just a moderate pace, not in any effort, and basically the bike is doing all the work right now. So I'm going to drop it back down to uh, maybe eco mode. I like eco because obviously saves on battery and you know give me a little bit of a workout too so. So compared to the Super 73 you know this is a more upright position. The uh, handlebars are uh, a little more comfortable I wouldn't say that much more comfortable maybe just because of the the shape of the handlebar here um, I do I can raise them really high uh, for me the the seat is what's uh, hurting and right now we've been riding around just testing out the power modes here for 20 minutes and my butt is starting to hurt even with that gel pad. Like I said, so now I'm in power mode two and this is the eco. So I'm gonna to come to a dead stop and I'll show you that it doesn't give you, once you start pedaling, it doesn't give you all the power right away. It kind of gives it to you and then cuts off. So here, so it's coming on slowly, coming on slowly. See, that's all it is. When you get up to about 12, 13 miles per hour, then it starts slowing uh, down. Gives you, it doesn't give you as much power. But now when I hit, I'm gonna do power level five. I'm gonna come to a stop again. And I'm just gonna start pedaling. So it gives me all the beans right there to get to. So you do hit top speed faster in power level five or pedal assist five. Also, it has a front suspension on here. It feels pretty good. Um, you know, it was a little harder, harsher ride on the Super 73, but eh. You know, I would feel this gives a little give to it, so 
it is a little better. The fat knobby tires are nice. You can go a little light off-roading here, but not too much. So there you have it guys, the first ride for this uh, rad powered bike, the Rad Mini 4, and uh, so far I've been loving it. The only gripe I have right now for it is the seat. It feels a little hard on the rear end. The Super 73 seat was uh, actually comfortable, if you if you really could believe that, and it was a uh, no suspension on the bike the front suspension is it does its job and uh you know you it dampens the bumps you know i love this uh readout here gives you a lot more information i mean the super 73 gives you information too also it has a headlight it came with the fenders so there's your first ride guys uh so maybe I'll get my brother to come out and we compare the Super 73 to this. But I rode the Super 73 for almost a year and a half and uh, it was a great bike. The only problem is that, you know, bringing it to the apartment, there was really no place to put it. So at least this one it could fold up, I could put it away in the corner, it won't be too bulky. That's why I got it. So if you like today's video, hit that like button. Also, please subscribe. And if you do subscribe, hit that bell notification. Every time I upload something, the good old YouTube will notify you. Hey, you never know. It's maybe something you'll like. So I'll see you in the next one. Peace.